What is up guys and welcome back to the greatest update in Frag Pro Shooter history. Once again, we're reviewing all the updates. This is going to be part three. So make sure you go check out the other two parts if you liked an earlier update than these ones. Now, with that being said, we are going to use the same thing, the original 1.0.0 as the baseline and it is a B tier. So let's move in to the video. Also guys, there's going to be some brand new blaze footage popping up on the right hand side of your screen. So make sure you check that out while we're doing this tier list as well. Thank you and enjoy. Alrighty guys, so up first we have update 1.6.2. This was the prizes galore update. It came with the gold rush wheel, which was really nice to help people level up cards. It also came with rank rewards, um, where you used to get 15,000 gems for first place and so on and so forth. Characters were the same way. This was just a way to help players level up. This was a decent update, so I'm gonna give it a B tier. It did have its fair share of exploits that were abused in the character uh, tournaments, I guess you'd say. Uh, unfortunately but overall solid update b tier Alrighty, update 1.6.4 yes i know we skipped 0.3 um but it wasn't actually an update it got rolled into point four. this was the hannibal update it came with a bunch of character balancing which was good um but it did come with some new nasty little bugs uh unfortunately uh, example this would be your fan base not working so you couldn't message people whenever you wanted to do your tournament duels um, and there was also the white screen bug at this point, which was devastating for most of the players who played on a higher ping. Um, the mystery boxes were acquiring gems and they weren't anymore. It's just really, really, uh, frustrating. Um, but yeah, this is a B tier still solid update. Just, it had bugs, unfortunately. Update 1.6.5 was really good for a variety of reasons. Number one, we got the new character, Duncan. This was awesome. It also added the Waterfalls map, which I still believe is the most beautiful map Frag has ever made, um, in my personal opinion. With that being said, there was some great balancing changes, but the big thing with this update, and the reason I'm struggling to place it, is this was the reduction in gold costs. For leveling up characters and that's a big deal in frag pro shooter so we may revisit this one for now i'm going to put it at a tier update 1.6.6 is one of the smoothest updates frag has ever done we got tank bot we got street frag no new bugs and there was actually quite a few fixes on bugs so honestly this is a pretty simple a tier for me it doesn't quite have that kick to get it to s tier but this is definitely a good update Alrighty, guys update 1.6.7 i believe this is the cypher update um, this was not a very good update. It came with a bunch of new bugs, especially with the new, uh, street frag mode that was added to frag, um, in the last update, which should be expected, but it was, didn't expect that much. And then on top of that, we had a really broken character cypher added to the game. He's not bad anymore, but he was really bad at this particular point. So this one's going to be a C tier. Update 1.6.8. This was the age of AI update. Um, this was bad guys. So Frag made an accidental mistake here and they super tuned the AI. I had a lot of fun with this update, but the community did not. Uh, so this is gonna be a C tier for me. It could be a D tier pretty easily. Update 1.7. This was a Sombrero update. Honestly, this update could have been better if Sombrero wasn't so strong and they messed up the trophy gaining sequence for some reason. Um, honestly, this is a C tier still. Really wasn't much of an improvement for me in the last over the last update. All right, Frag Volume 1.7.2. This was the Volume 2 update. It came with a bunch of changes. Um, it had Frag Powers, which I have been adamant and spoken against many times. And this one's a hard one for me to place. Um, any new seasons you get, you get a lot of bugs. I think I'm going to give it a C tier just because Arkin was so cool. But honestly, this update really needed some, a little more TLC than what it got before it came out. Update 1.7.3. This was the duality update. Um, this is one of the most broken characters that ever got put in a frag pro shooter. Uh, and all the bugs persisted from the volume 2 update. They were beginning to sort it out, but this is still a C tier. Update 1.7.3. Four, I believe it was. This was the Marco Polo update. It was a very simple update, honestly. Uh, they fixed some bugs, and they, we finally began to experience what Volume 2 was supposed to be. Uh, so this is going to bump up to a high B, almost an A for me. But still solid for where we started this volume. Update 1.7.6. Oh boy, this was a little bit of a train wreck, guys. So Stella was added to the game, and once again, another one of the most broken characters Frack has ever put into their game. Um... I like Stella a lot, but I have to be honest, this is a C tier update. It came with a lot of bugs and a really broken character. 
1.7.8 was interesting. This was the Takeshi update. It actually came with not a ton of bugs. There were some balancing changes to a few characters. Um, and it was definitely an improvement from the Stella update. It still wasn't great, so I'm going to have to give it a beats here. But going the right direction on this update. 1.7.9 had some really good balancing changes and some map fixes. Um, character was broken. It was Zap Girl. Um, not really too much to say. I'm going to put this one into the B tier as well. Uh, solely because the balancing was good in this update. Um, that's about it for it. Update 1.8.1. This was the Darius update. Um, this was a pretty good update. My big complaint was the uh, implants got added to the game in this one. Um, but even then, it didn't come with a lot of bugs at the time. Uh, so I have to give it an A tier, even though I didn't like implants. I was against frag powers, against implants, against augments. You're going to see that as a recurring fan. But this was done pretty well as far as the lack of bugs go. So A tier. 1.8.4 was interesting. It's going to be a B tier. Um, we got Red Shadow in this update. We had a bunch of trophy road fixes uh, that weren't really fixes. They were just kind of let's make it look like we did it sort of a patch. Which they did change things. It just you didn't feel it or notice it. Uh, implants were really starting to uh, kind of create issues for the UI. Um, I'm going to drop it down a tier, but it's still going to be a B tier because minus those things, this had a good patch notes, good updates, and good balancing for characters. Update 1.8.7 is the sunny update. This was a very solid update. No new issues. They fixed some old ones. Um, I'm going to give it an A tier. And yes, I realize we missed 1.8.6. Uh, which we're going to move into right now. So 1.8.6 was the Lily, Lilith update. This was a very, very good update as well. Um, Lily is, uh, Lilith, I should say, is a really strong character throughout Frag. But it, once again, no new bugs, bug fixes. This is going to be uh, A tier as well for me. Alright, update 1.8.9. This was our first Synergy update, and it was the best Synergy update they did. It was Ao and Azuna. Uh, came with a really awesome map. Um, I'm going to give this an A tier just because of the hype it created for the community at the time. Um, but unfortunately, the Synergy updates were downhill from here. As the update after this, which I realized I didn't have a picture for, was Dolb and Wave. Um, they're going to go in B tier. And then the one after that was Jaeger and Kazulu. This was a horrible update. Tons of bugs. Two extremely broken characters. I, I cannot put them higher than B tier uh, for any reason and there's no way that'll change my mind on those ones. Um, we then had the Piper Reese one. This was kind of a, a C tier synergy update as well um, but like I said they all went downhill after the AO and Azuna so I kind of grouped them together uh, on this review. Alright guys so 1.9.5 was the Newt Newt update. Uh, we got Newt added into the game. My wife absolutely loved this character. I liked his playstyle as well. I think this is going to be an A tier rank on this update. Had good patch notes. The fixes were what they needed to be fixed. Uh, and as a whole this was just a very sound and complete update from Frag. Next up we have the Cyber Agent update. This was the Cyber push they did. Um, Cyber Agent was added into the game. Um, Balancing was kind of minimal in this one, and honestly, it didn't quite live up to the hype. The character wasn't very good at the original launch, uh, so I have to give this one a B tier uh, for that very simple reason. Alrighty, guys, the update for the second frag powers. This was a pain, guys. I, I can't, I don't have anything really good to say about it. This was a C tier update. I'm against frag powers as a whole, unfortunately. Um, after that, we got the Strix update. This one was kind of poor as well. We got a new character who was, really wasn't very good. Um, and it also didn't really have the pizzazz. Like, we didn't get good buffs nerfs. We got a Giga going buck, which nobody really cared about. Um, and they still weren't cared about even after the update. So, C tier for that. Alright, I told you we were going to revisit the, the Duncan update. The more I think about it, this was just a really good update from Frag. Just everything went right in it. I gotta move it up to S tier. Um, but I think that's going to complete our tier list for the day. Now, I want to take a moment here to tell you about the Frag Meme event we have going on. All you have to do is be in the Frag Official Discord. Link will be in the description down below. Submit your Frag Memes, and next Friday, a winner will be selected by your voting in the comment section of that 
video on Sunday. That video will be posted on Friday. You can uh, upload up to five memes, and it'll be an awesome chance for you guys to participate and uh, be part of the community in that regards. With that being said, guys, we have some other awesome stuff coming up. Make sure you leave a comment on what your favorite update is in the description down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, and I want to thank everybody for coming. Thank you, and have a wonderful day. Love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now wake up! It's time to look at the enemy. Look in the mirror if he is no friend to me. It's not working out, maybe it's the chemistry. It's time to break up so I can make a better me. Better believe in your mind, cause it's everything. You can mold shape by anything all it takes is some time and some clarity to find your identity it's mind over everything Face.